The Eagles peaking at the right time. Hello, everybody. Terry Bennett here on the Tommy Hayes Photography DFW Executive Realty Brock Eagle Football Show right here on S2S Sports, part of L4 Media. As the Eagles dispatch of Mule Shoe 76 to 13. Man, when you look at the last four games, 69 points, 76 points, 59 points, 76 points. Only giving up 15 points in those uh, four games. And two of those are playoff games. That's why I say I think the Eagles are peaking at the right time. This week, of course, they'll take on Clyde. Best way to describe Clyde is kind of like a paradise light. Uh, they're very quarterback eccentric with their offense, just like paradise is. He's also maybe their best defensive player as well. I don't know if maybe. I think he is their best defensive player. In fact, I think Blake Carr, his best position is defense, and he's a really, really good quarterback. But what he does on defense back there, he basically kind of plays the quarterback of the defense as well. And this is a good Clyde team. But at the end of the day, I think they're going to be overmatched as everybody else has been in the last two months, ever since that gunner. Let, let, let's go back to that. Ever since that gunner game, it's the point scored. 78, 61, 63, 26, 69, 76, 59, 76. That, that Paradise game being the only one that, you know, Brock got controlled. But a lot of that was also Brock not wanting to give a ton of chances to Austin Iglesias and that Paradise offense. They're in a good one this week because they're going to be taking on Bushland. That's going to be a fun one. Both of those teams, whether it be uh, Paradise or Bushland, uh, the, the chips on their shoulders towards Brock. I mean, you know, honestly, that's how it is. First round or, or in this region and in region two, because if, if Mal Malakoff gets through, like I think they will, I, I say that, man, Winsboro, huh, that's, a, that's another good team. But Malakoff, they have a chip on their shoulder from last year and Brock physically dominating them in that region, uh, I mean, that state semifinal. And, of course, we all know about Paradise. And then Bushland's the same way because of the comeback last year for Brock. So Brock making enemies and doing it with a smile here in Class 3A Division One. We're going to do what we always do, and that's talk to the head coach of the Eagles, Coach Billy Mathis. And, in fact, we're going to do that when we come back right here on the Brock Eagle Football Show on S2S Sports, part of L4 Media. Is your demanding work lifestyle in need of fire-resistant clothing that can keep up? Well, L4FR clothing should be your go-to for quality, affordability, safety, and style. L4FR was founded by a third-generation oil field worker who is also a veteran. Thus, this company has a deep appreciation for reliability and longevity, all while we provide first-rate customer service. Our durable apparel will serve you well for many years to come, whether you're working on a pipeline, a lineman climbing utility poles, or in any other environment requiring fire-resistant apparel. L4FR has you covered. Our apparel is tough enough to resist hazardous conditions while still providing high comfort and style. L4FR provides clothing options to ensure your safety and comfort, whether you're on the job or not. To view our complete inventory of flame-resistant garments, please visit our online store at L4FRclothing.com or give us a call at 817-757-4935. See Abla Espanol. Terry Bennett back here on the Brock Football Show. Now joined by the head coach of the Eagles, Coach Billy Matheson. Coach, congratulations. Another big playoff win. You beat Mule Shoe 76 to 13. What were your thoughts on that game? Man, I thought it was uh, one of the most complete games that we had played. We, we came out strong and thought, you know, offensively, man, we, we ran the ball well, we threw the ball well. And defensively, our defense was flying around. I kept bunch of men on a mission and you know special teams wise we went out there and you know, had some returns so it was it was a good complete um, game all around I just felt like we were the most physical team and man our guys were just excited and fired up for the game so when you it was um just good when you look at you talk about that offense and when you look at where you know this passing game has evolved from the non-district to where it is now are you even a little surprised at how efficient y'all have become passing the ball? Absolutely. I thought we've, we've done a um, great job. You know, and it just takes time. It takes time with 
you know, with a new quarterback, with with the line and everything that everybody's doing, it just takes time. But you know, receivers figuring stuff out, and and we've done. I, I've been very proud of the way we've thrown the ball. I've been very proud of the way our receivers are, are running, and you know, more than anything, it's been proud of our O line. You know, we struggled early at times, and those guys have a lot of pride and took a lot of, you know, they they've taken a lot of criticism at times, and you know what, they they never. They, they never faltered. They just kept saying, you know what, we're going to get this. And they got it, and they got it, got it, and they just keep getting better and better week after week. Well, you take on Clyde this week. A team that, it, maybe not style-wise, but how they use their quarterback kind of mirrors what Paradise does. Clyde has a great quarterback who's also a great defensive player. When you look at the film, what are your thoughts on the Bulldogs? Oh, solid. A team that's playing as as hot as any team in the state right now. And they, you know, district champs, and you're right, they're, they're big, they're physical, and that quarterback, he will knock your teeth out. You know, he's, a, he's back there at safety, and he can play the run and the pass. And you better keep your eyes up because he's coming downhill like a freight train. And on offense, you know, he throws the ball well, and he runs it even better. So, you know, they got a big old line. We've got to do a great job of not giving up, you know, chunks of yardage, and that's what they do. But they're very patient both sides of the ball they're you know bend but don't break defense and offensively you know they're fine with getting three four yards of play lining up and doing it again they know they're going to try to keep the ball away from you so you know coach does a great job with them out there and you know more than anything what makes them so scary is just how you know how well they're playing right now and how hot they're playing yeah exactly i was about to say we can talk schemes we can talk matchups and who's the better talent athletic and all that but when you get in the third round of the playoffs and i know you've seen it so many times these teams like clyde that just have so much confidence that can put two extra touchdowns on the board for a team like that 100 percent. i mean there's a lot of confidence going on right now and you know today's world of social media and all the stuff that they do i know um some of our kids said that you know a lot of their kids have reached out and the excitement that they have about playing us and, you know, how they've been looking forward to this all year. So, you know, there's no fear out there in the Clyde Bulldogs. I promise you that. Those guys, they're excited for the challenge just like we are. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a dog fight. I can promise you that. What's it mean for you to be playing on Thanksgiving weekend? You know, it's always um, one of those goals that you, that you look forward to. You're looking forward to, you know, winning – district championship you're looking forward to winning the first round playoff and you always look forward to practicing football over thanksgiving and it's just one of those deals of you know you you're, you sit back because you get to see a lot of family members that you hadn't seen in a long time and it just it's a warm feeling really and truly and, it, and it's a feeling of, of being thankful and you know i lost my dad a couple years ago and you know you get to go and spend time with people that you hadn't seen in a long time and it's just it's awesome, and I and I get to go spend time with not only my family but my extended family, you know, my football team and my coaches, and just very thankful for that because you know a lot of emotions get brought up around holidays, and you know me being surrounded by all my boys, it really you know it's really good for me, and you know just that whole part of just being thankful that you know we got a God that loves us and we get this opportunity to, to do this, you know it just really makes it extra special. What do y'all do special on Thanksgiving as a team? What will your what will y'all's uh, routine be tomorrow? You know, we'll come out. We'll do our our walk through, but we'll have there, there'll be a hundred, two hundred people out there watching practice. And you know, we get together and you know, get people you know to pray for the boys, and you know, we'll go do our walk through. And it's just, it's just it's a special practice. It's an exciting practice. And at the end, we always do a little uh, Thanksgiving brunch you know people bring food and stuff so we'll eat sit out there and talk and you know go back in after after we do all the fellowshipping and go spend time with the family and you know go watch some football on thanksgiving and go eat and do everything and get an opportunity knowing that the next day we get to go play a football game which makes it even better here at L4 Media, we talk high school football, 4A, 3A, and 2A in Texas. We talk East Texas sports. We talk NFL, guy talk, movie, and booze. We also talk wrestling and so much more. And you can see it all on our YouTube channel at L4 Media Company. Like and subscribe.
Thanksgiving playoff football. Boy, Brock, y'all know this well. This is old hat for y'all, even as a new program. And that's the way it should be, or that's the way you want it to be. You want that third round to be the 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 round that at least you make every year. And that's what the Eagles have been doing. And as we talked about, getting hotter as the season goes along. This is why Brock keeps playing in state championship games. It's not about peaking in September. It's not even about peaking in November. You want to be arcing up in November, and that's where they are now. You want to be peaking in about three weeks. As always, if you have any questions, thoughts, or comments for the show, email them to me, terry at s2sport.com. Also, check out our Sideline to Sideline Class 3A show where we talk all things, well, 3A in that show, including picking every playoff game from a weekend this weekend. It's going to be a blast. Now, we're going to be mainly in the 4A world as far as the games we're going to. But I can't wait to see the three. I, I can't wait for that Paradise Bushland game to be played. We're going to be watching that uh, as we're at the stadium. I always make sure we, in in non dish or in uh, in the regular season we tend to be on the sidelines. But in the playoffs, I love to be in the press box so I can get my laptop and be able to sit there and uh, watch other games as we're playing them. You know, as, as the game that we're at is playing, so that way I can keep tabs and not just scores. And I can't wait for Paradise Bushland. That is going to be an absolute battle. If you're going to the games or traveling for Thanksgiving, then please, please be safe. Enjoy the games. Remember, it's just that. It's just a game. Hopefully, Brock wins. And let's just plan on meeting here next week. Right here on the Tommy Hayes Photography DFW Executive Realty Brock Eagle Football Show on S2S, part of L4 Media.